afternoon. It is Commander Two Rads Russell checking in with you from Mostly Harmless Headquarters. Um, time for a video update, I thought. It's been a while since I've chatted to you. And um, our Kickstarter closed two weeks ago now. And I just had the email from uh, the Kickstarter people confirming the funds are going to go into my account. So, um, just so you know, that instantly I'm going to put well, four and a half thousand pounds is going to go back into my account to replenish the money that I've already spent for the uh, buying the license. Um, I actually have to pay for my new boiler uh, now as well, so my engine has been waiting a while for that. Um, but so that's and and then the rest of it is going to go into some kind of a do not disturb account, so that it's there ready and waiting funds for when um, we get into the production side of the book after I finish writing it. So it's very exciting. Um, just so you know as well, um, I I have heard back already from uh, the people at Elite, uh, from the, Michael Brooks and his team of Frontier, um, saying that my planet name has now been accepted. So very exciting. There is going to be a planet in the game of Elite Dangerous called Slough. And you will be able to go and visit it and maybe have a cup of tea with me. Um, it's going to be a human-controlled penal colony, um, uh, but it's going to be underground because uh, the surface atmosphere of Slough is too acidic for anyone to survive more than about 20 years. Um, and it's a mining colony as well, so there's very rich mining deposits, so they've burrowed down under the surface, so you can actually go and have a cup of tea in Slough. Well, you won't be able to actually go and land on Slough yet, um, but there will be a space station there as well. I've yet to choose the names for the star system and the space station. I want to really define the plot arc and any subplots before I make any firm decisions on that. Same with my commander character name. Although I have been uh, the higher level tier commander name, uh, you could select your commander Jameson name. And I'm also pleased to uh, confirm that I will be the only commander Kate Jameson. So you will either see me playing as commander Kate Jameson or... I'll take on the role of my uh, my character, my lead character of my book, which there's been some discussion. You know, those of you in the comments will know I've been thinking around the the area of of of, of Angel. Um, I see her in my head as being, um, you know, sort of Mediterranean kind of descent. Um, but um, there seems to be some confusion around the name Angel and it being a boy's or a girl's name. So the jury's still out on that. I don't know about that yet, and I don't want to make any rush decisions that I end up having to stick with. So I'm I'm happy to just let that lie for a while. And I know some of the other writers have had um you know some discussions with Frontier about their story arcs. Um and you know there's been some toing and froing. I don't envisage any of those kinds of problems for our story because it's it's not really going to be a deep epic exploration of the political landscape and um you know sort of uh geosphere of um, the elite world. Um, it's much more about the personalities and about the humour of life and, and the ridiculousness of, of the things that happen to our lead character. So um, I'm confident that when I submit my synopsis, which will hopefully be in the end of March, that um, there will be not too many uh, problems in terms of getting it cleared. And then I can start making some real decisions about what the star system is called and what the the, um, the the space station is called and, and anything else that, that needs to go into the game. Um, but delighted that Slough as a planet will exist in the game of Elite Dangerous. That just tickles me. Um, so yeah, and, and you know that I'm, I'm going to be sending out next weekend, not, not this weekend coming, but the weekend of the 2nd and 3rd of March, I'm going to be sending out the um, uh, surveys to you over that weekend. Uh, you should all get them that weekend, provided it's not too complicated. I've not done it yet, so I don't know how complex a, 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 a process that's going to be. Um, but you will definitely get them in plenty of time for me to be able to react to them. So make sure you keep an eye out for those and um, you know give me the names that you want your um, mentions to be, uh, the URLs you want me to link on the website, all that kind of thing, you'll get an individual questionnaire based on your own subscription um, to whatever pledge tier you, you were able to, to stump up for. Um, a couple of people have said as well, I've had a couple of emails and I will respond to them, um, that your pledges um, didn't go through for whatever reason, uh, the cards weren't accepted um, or some kind of financial block happened. Um, don't worry, there will still, I'm, I'm keeping a note of you and there will still be the opportunity to uh, contribute financially for your copy of the e-book. 
um, in the case of people who've uh, who've pledged five pounds um, and your audio book if you pledged 25 pounds um, I'm going to when we get the paper book paperback book ready for print on demand I will be setting up in that process some kind of method of, of taking payments from you some kind of PayPal shop or whatever so when that happens and I've got that set up then that will be your opportunity to make your contribution even though you weren't able to actually clear your contribution through uh, the Kickstarter process so don't worry got it all under control um, and hopefully uh, we'll be able to get it all sorted out and then we've got ages right so the, the, all that's kind of like a year from now the actual handing over of money and finances and stuff um, for that end of it so um, the main thing is that I actually get the book written um, and I again I can't wait for that uh, the stories are all coming together and um, you should start to see a lot more from that side of things coming through if you're involved in the Nosy Parker Forum really pretty much immediately. You know, as I've said, I've got my business book launch that I need to concentrate on um, for the next few weeks. Uh, that's on the 20th of March and I'm going to be doing the virtual book signing in the evening of the 20th of March. So make sure you keep an eye out on my social feeds for information about how to participate in that if you want to. It's going to be quite fun actually. You'll basically be given the opportunity to to um, pre-order a copy of the book um, and then um, with that pre-order will come a five minute slot in the virtual book signing slash chat show uh, between 7 and 8 p.m. on the 20th um, and you will come on uh, you know be on video uh, video cam uh, with everybody else you'll be able to ask some questions and then tell me what you want me to write in your book um, so that's all going to happen um, on the 20th of March. So do keep an eye out. I'm gonna, hopefully going to make that uh, commercial um, to, today slash tomorrow, uh, depending on how my diary pans out. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that and do join in. And even if you don't want a book signing, you can actually just watch it. It will be broadcast as a Google Hangout. So, And if you want to know how that works, check out the Geek Girl Diaries. Um, I've actually tweeted it today and put it on my Facebook and um, Google Plus. Uh, pages. Um, I've just today been interviewed by Geek Girl Diaries uh, by Carrie Ann Philbin about um, you know about girls and technology and you know it's, it's for teenagers who might be thinking about going into science and technology. Um, and I got a chance to obviously talk about um, mostly harmless and elite dangerous during that as well because it's all over talk about these days. I've become quite a bore. Um, so yeah, uh, th th that was a Google Hangout, so it'll give you an idea of how it will work. But you can actually have nine people in the Google Hangout, so um, it will be quite fun to have like two or three people, hopefully, who, who want their books signed, and then you know maybe one or two of my blogging friends, or you know people from the blogosphere, or, or perhaps one of the experts might come in um, and talk about their experiences and answer any questions you have. So it's all going down at the moment. Um, and um, I just hope you've got enough patience over the next few weeks to to just um, uh, you know bear with me and just know that I am still fully fully engaged in mostly harmless. I can't wait to get my book launch out of the way so that I can actually start working on this, put my synopsis together, send it off to Frontier, uh, get Michael to approve it, um, and then we can really start with the with the fun task of actually um, writing the story and and, and unfolding the events. Um, around this character so uh, yeah thank you for your support and uh, this is commander two rads russell russell two rads russell checking out